some music to ginger as this morning you're watching the am show time for some am news we begin with uh, breaking news this morning a group of people purporting to uh, be soldiers of western togoland has blocked the pong at timpoku road preventing passengers from using the road report says that the group claims that portion of the town belongs to them let's get more from an eyewitness on the stretch joining us on the phone line we are not going to disclose his name, but great to have you on the program uh, this morning, sir. Tell us exactly where you are and what you are witnessing. I'm currently at Japan, on the way to uh, Tower Satinpoku, the bridge, about some 200 meters to Satinpoku, where the bridge passed from. There is a, a roadblock ahead of us. The tires have been laid across the road and bent, and it's still burning in flames. So we are all in traffic now. There's a heavy traffic jam in Japan town right now. About I mean, 500, 500 meters traffic from where the, the fire starts from. So that is what we are experiencing right now. The CCC artillery school have just arrived in town, and we believe in no time the situation will be quiet. Okay, what, what can you tell us about the group that is behind this? What are they doing at this point? Actually, you can't see anybody who is uh, um, saying that he belongs to the group and this and that is what they want. Mm. I mean, we can see a lot of people around, a lot of the youth, women, children moving up and down. And what we are seeing is that they, all, they are also interested in seeing what is happening. But there is nobody particularly saying that they, they are the people doing this and this is the reason why they are doing it. So there is nobody around to be seen. You can only see only the flame. So what I am believing is that the, the fire was set by these individuals and they left the place. At, at what time of the day was the road blocked? Do you know? Right, come again. At what time of the day okay. was the road blocked? Do you know? Well, we also traveled from... From go to going to Accra before we see the thing. So we don't actually know the time that the, 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 the fire was set. Mm. Okay. And so you tell me that security personnel are now there. Tell us what they are doing right now. As of now, we we are about to turn. The, the CPC uh, artillery soldiers have gone to where the fire is. They have alighted from their bus and they are marching on the route. They are moving from the fire towers, the, the township. That is what is happening currently. Okay. And we are told that it has affected traffic on that uh, route. Tell us how, to what extent traffic, the traffic situation is uh, worse? There is a very heavy traffic. There is a very, very heavy traffic in town right now. As I said earlier on, about 500 meters or more of traffic. That is what is happening right now. Mm. And, and what are the residents over there saying? How are they reacting to all of this? Well, as of now, they, I, I think all the people we are seeing now, they are also following the soldiers, and I believe they are also not in favor of what is happening because you can see that they are, that they are so friendly with the soldiers. They are giving them certain information that I'm not, I'm not yet privy to. Okay, that is an eyewitness right now on the Kong Atimpoku Road, which has been blocked by a group purported to be Western Togoland soldiers. This is breaking news. Uh, this morning, we continue to follow that for you. We'll be bringing you updates throughout this program uh, on the situation there at Pong Atimpoku.